Hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, or quit it, quit it, quit it. Let's make it count. Let's make it happen. And international basketball fans, that's in, that's professional basketball, but like a, a small professional level, low level, uh, as we're gonna get this in against Mr. Soprano, the East King. Um, that plays really close to us. So I went to one of the games last year and it was really fun. Ace King, Ace King. Diamonds! Chop it up, man. Chop it up. I'd love to play a variant of poker where I win this pot because I have the Ace of Diamonds and there's three diamonds, you know? Eh, merci beaucoup. Um, I was doing some Duolingo before the stream today, actually. I got uh, Bureau, Vash, Vash's cow. Bureau is off. So six hours a week and uh, and it's about two months, so I'm pretty excited actually. I think it'll be really good and, and helpful to, you know, like responding to this, but I just need a I need to fill in just a tiny bit more, I think. Uh, so Beck Hall, what do we want to do here with the middle set? I think we want to raise, the thing is like people bluff at a very small frequency three ways at this stack depth, right? Uh, when they have a heart draw, they're not folding. When they have an ace, they're gonna put us on a heart draw most of the time. Um, this is just a spot where we want to make sure we get the money in for a bounty here against a wide range of hands. Some of the hands were like, they're crushed, right? Uh, one pair of ace, they're crushed. Um, a heart draw, they're doing okay, but like only 30% or so. So yeah, we raise here. If it goes bet folds, I think there's more of an argument for a call, but uh, not here. So good luck. Snap call, please have ace king. Flush draw, flush draw, tens full. That is a double bounty, dude. $150 of bounties and more than a triple stack. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so raise under the gun, call, call, squeeze all in for 44 and then a re-squeeze. I think we should call covering both bounties here and eggs pretty much can't have a good hand. Uh, so it's really like, how does ace queen do against this hand? We're doing really well against max fed. And I think well enough when you add $200 in play here, so. Good luck and uh, just hope eggs folds like sevens or sixes or fives or fours or whatever uh, instead of calling and then we'd have to flip, you know, in a 240,000 side pot between ourselves and eggs, 230,000. They fold eight queen, seven jacks, great lineup here for two bounties and a massive stack. Come on, let's go. Uh, that's a huge pot. I think we are salmon felt now. Pretty sure, yeah, 338, so we are up money, but not yet cash the tournament, which is awesome. Unfortunately covered by eggs here, but we cover Jimmy the tie, muggy, and educate yourself. My first impression is to flat and go for the home run of trying to get this $112 bounty and like a massive pot uh, by keeping our range pretty tight, especially when we are 70 blinds deep you can get in queens for 70 blinds, but it's not like a slam dunk. So I'm gonna try and go for the monster score here and hope that Educate Yourself picks up basically like sixes plus or something here and uh, goes for it. But they just call, okay, ace four three with two hearts, all right. The home run has not been hit, but we still have a decent hand. A hand that can play at least a street here. Maybe a better one third we call. Uh, really good turn. It makes it less likely they have an ace X hand and more likely they have something else. Um, they bet 33,000. I think we should peel again here and then fold the river if they continue betting. Like if they do have trip aces, they're obviously going to value bet, right? So uh, that's relevant. Ooh. I was just wondering if I could bluff here. Uh, we probably want to have tens without a heart where we don't block uh, ace-queen, which would be trying to get to fold here. By jamming, we'd be trying to say we have ace-jack or fours or threes. Uh, I don't think we should do it here with queens, just fold. And and we can't call either, so jam gets through. And we have jacks, beautiful. We want to play against Jimmy the Tie and educate yourself for stacks. Uh, against the others, we have 62 blinds, which is a little awkward. It's, it's a little awkward in a lot of spots here. Against a raise three bet from anyone, it's a little awkward. But given there's a bounty on their head, this three betting range is gonna be very wide, in which case I don't think we want to fold. Now, do we wanna play it for a four bet or a call? I think call seems a lot better. 
keep this player in the pot and basically don't fold when there's a bounty in play. Yeah, I think we want to call here. But it is setting up kind of awkward um, just because of stack depth, right? We like our hand. We do like our hand for sure. Don't, don't take this like pondering for pessimism. It's like, no, it's a great hand. It's just sometimes we're going to face really tough decisions here. Like against a jam rejam, for example. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, queen 5 4 in the flop. Our hand is also a little awkward to play here. We'd want to play some check raises with like aces and kings. I don't think we want to with jacks. I think I'm going to though. I'm going to check raise, check turn. Thinking being here, this is what we're going to want to do with really strong aces, kings, ace, queen. And this also is consistent with like us flatting a strong range uh, and also our opponent uh, three bidding a weaker range than they typically would have because of the bounty. So all of that makes some sense, I think. Turn ace is bad. It's just a check fold now. Um, we've kind of done our job on the flop and like gotten them to fold some hands that have some equity uh, and also represented like the strength of our range. And now it's just bad. So let's check, check. Not in the river. We're going to check. We win somehow against probably tens. Uh, I don't know what else it could be. Yeah, tens. Okay. I think open this. Uh, we cover here and here and here, which is nice. No W Coop this year. I'm not sure if I'll play any W Coop. Uh, I'll call here. I haven't looked at the schedule yet. Uh, maybe. It's It just depends. If I'm feeling it one day, I'll hop in there. Take it down for 116. It's just kind of hard for me to get money on uh, stars at the moment. My main payment processor is Lucky. Um, Queen's potential to burst the bubble here. If Luka Doncic has a worse hand, cold four, we definitely call against eggs, who has tens for $271 bounty and to burst the bubble. Huge, huge pot here. Let's go. Let's go. That's just great news, man. Raising. That is a flush draw. East and four, two clubs. Uh, I like going for a small bet here. We can really sort of sandwich clop for the cop in between the two of us. And against this opponent, we don't mind uh, playing with their 187 bounty. Although I don't necessarily think we want to get it all in right now. They do make a 50k. Now we're in a bit of a weird spot because we can fast play, but then we're up against like king high, queen high flush draws and stuff like that. I think call is better. Call. And if we don't improve on the turn and they jam, we fold because they have better draws or strong hands. Um, yeah, force. Forza. And caches are small today, actually. We played um, 255s, a 320, a 1K, a 109, a 250, and a 109. I think there's one 215 missing here as well. So we have 2,073 in buy-ins. That's it. Luka Doncic limps. I think I just want to jam for 30 blinds here. $370 bounty is huge. It's like the same as where we're at. So I'm just going to rip... Uh, and, you know, get them to fold, like, all their flips and, like, yeah, own myself when they have sevens, but they have to call off for the flip here for this huge bounty. Oh, my goodness, keep it low. Ah, oh, it's brutal, man. It's brutal. We jam there, so they have to fold that hand, which they should, by the way. We are the shortest stack we are going to jam. I mean, they're a great player, obviously, so probably know what they're doing. 22.70.94 is the finish in the grand. GG. Eighth place. Uh, I can live with it. I think I'm okay with how that went down. Ace four against fours. We flop an ace on the final table with our very short stack of the Super 320. And we're up to 191, which is good news. We missed the lemon line because we were playing that pot in the grand. Final table of the Super 320. Double up first hand. 
And that puts us, I think, now in fifth place now. Sixth place. Let's go. King 10, ace, queen, ace, nine. Three way all in. Queen's ahead. Queen is going to take it. So ace, nine is out, uh, which means we're down to eight. And educate yourself is just going to basically triple up here to 400,000. We're all in. Here we go. Ace Jack is a great hand. Clop for the cop. Do you want to get this huge bounty? I think you do, honestly. I think you want to rumble for it, my friend. Ace Jack, Ace Five. Now keep it clean here, chat. 280,000. Keep it clean. Let's go. Big double up, baby. Big double up. Okay. We're kind of tied for last now against Rolliero. Surprised to get action if we get some up against Jack 10. Is Baby Shark, who someone said in the chat they were Baby Shark and they had Ace 9 that hand. I don't know if they were. We make the straight. That's good. 350,000. We're totally in this thing, dude. Cool. Good luck. Risking it all. Eight left in the tournament. 469 plus our 684 in bounties. We've got to dodge the king. We've got to dodge this pesky king. We get it done. Let's go chat. Come on. 600,000, that puts us in second place. What a comeback from being eight of eight and being short for such a long time to now be in second place. What a comeback. Hello everyone, I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker. Brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Sixes against Queen Jack. We want Educate Yourself to survive here, I think, with that big bounty. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nope. We are down to seven. I mean, there's a positive side. We lose a player. We're down to seven. We hit a little ladder here. 534 cashed. Actually, this hand. Okay. I'm just going to flat. Min raise from Baby Shark. Do we call the min raise for a 187 bounty? Just trying to hit trips or two pair? Probably. I think that's the way. That's probably the way. Hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, or quit it, quit it, quit it. How about Ariak wins the pot then, actually? Would be good. So that we can get the bounty in the next hand is our hope. Jack high, ace high. Ace high takes it down. There we go. 45,000 chips. They've actually got an orbit, though, which makes it interesting now. I think we make it 58,000 here. It's basically... And fold. Ace four sixes. We are down to six left. One eighty seven bounty is gone, and we ladder up to six thirty seven plus bounties. Jam Don Cheech got to decide: do they call off for their tournament life or not? Quad queens. GG to Luka Doncic. We are down to five left now. 777 cashed. Sixes. Here we go. All right. We're all in chat for 10 blinds. Baby Sharks got a decision. They obviously want to get this bounty themselves, but they also like being able to put pressure on the other stacks. So I would say it doesn't actually change their calling range that much. Uh, ooh, nice. Very nice hand to see with twos. We are dominating. Dodge the two outer. We do. Let's go, chat. Do it, Rolliero. Do it. Action. Call. Call in position. Put 500,000, 550,000 in there. Play a pot. Call this baby shark. Call it. Oh, jam. Rolliero. Oh, my goodness. Ace five jacks. Ace! Get him out of here. Send him home, Dottie. Send him home. Rolliero's out. We are down to four. We're basically tied for second. That's so sick. I mean, that's obviously... Uh, Go at it, Clot. Three bet here. Three bet, Clot. Why not? Do your three bet thing, Clot. They fold. We call to the streets. Pretty good flop. Three, four, queen. One club. Now, how do we want to play it? Fast on the flop against the C bet? 
Probably, right? There's so many bad turns of rivers. I think we want to check raise here. Check raise don't fold. Um, we don't even want to induce light floats, honestly. I think we just want to end this hand here. Check jam. Uh, bust against a queen, but then do okay against the rest. Up to 600,000, that's good. We don't want to fold everything on the button. I think King-8 suited is a pretty good hand. Not a hand we want to fold. Um, we've kind of already tightened up our button range, in which case, like, that's the adjustment we need to make, basically, and that's it. Uh, check, check here on the 10, 10, 5 is fine. We turn an 8, which is gorgeous. Basically, don't fold now, I think. Uh, I guess a really bad river would be like Jack of Hearts, um, Jack of Spades kind of thing, but yeah. I think we call this bet. Six is fine. Uh, just call down. Hearts miss, spades miss, straight draws miss, except for nine seven. Um, we have a great hand. If they have a ten and we lose, that's fine. Good luck. They have a ten. Unfortunate. Really bad turn for us. Seventeen oh five fifty one is our cash there. Um, disappointing. It's just a bad turn, man. It's just a bad turn.